Reptilians, welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle. And I'm Den. And this is Elle's Reptiles. So I asked you guys here on the community tab on YouTube and on Instagram what you wanted to see in the upcoming videos. And quite a few of you guys said you wanted to see us react to reptile TikToks. I spend an unnecessary amount of time on TikTok, so I was pretty excited about this. <laughs> and, yes, she does. And yeah, I'm not really sure what exactly we're gonna be reacting to. I think I'm just gonna type in reptiles or then maybe snakes, bearded dragons, and just get some of the top ones, I guess. And we'll just do it that way. And before we do get started, just to let you guys know, we will not be posting a video next week. We are about to travel to Iowa and then it's Christmas and we're just gonna not be here. So no video next Sunday. Yep. All right. My phone is on. Okay, okay. That would be embarrassing. Uh, if the microphone wasn't on? Yeah, no, we do it all over. Came it does, but I just always like to double check. Oh, you just had too much trauma? Yeah. This video is sponsored by iHeartGecko, so make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out all about this awesome company. Let's get started. Start at the top and just react to these videos. Okay. All right, so this one, first one that comes up is from Tommy's Reptiles. Why is your lizard on a leash? I love frill dragons. <sighs> So it doesn't eat your dog. Boo. They came in wings too. <laughs> hey. <laughs> like I always wonder, like, will they actually bite you when they do that? I don't know. Or is, like I've never seen a video of them biting anyone. It's on a little winged leash. Oh, the wings are part of the leash? Yeah. I guess that makes sense. I don't really know anything about frill dragons except for their little dinosaurs and they look cool, so. Little uh dilos. I think so. <laughs> so usually I get snake calls, uh -huh. and today I get a call today, and the gentleman found this dude just crawling found around it. in the neighborhood. Hey, buddy. He just found <laughs> it at his <laughs> house. <laughs> that is a panther chameleon. That is one of my dream chameleons. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. So pretty. That is the most bizarre. Aren't those, those things are pretty mean, aren't they? Panther chameleons? I don't think so. They're very expensive. But chameleons in general, I don't think they're mean. That's someone's pet. That has to be. That's crazy. Oh, wait. So, no, I guess it does say lost reptile. Huh. So, someone just found it. Yeah. But that's super awesome that they, like, number one, that's a beautiful chameleon, but it's awesome that they went and tried to find whose it was. Yeah. But also, how does your panther chameleon get out? No idea. We've built him an amazing home. He seems to be happy, thanks to all who have helped. Aww. He was just walking all over him, climbed right up on his head. So I wonder if like that's why, like I wonder if someone was taking it outside and it escaped. Because he seems like he's very handled down. He looked really healthy. Yeah. What do you want to do next? Let's do this one. Rocket. That's a nice salad. Yeah, it is. It's the most <laughs> fancy salad I've ever seen. <laughs> he's eating like a king. Oh. Oh, is it uh, an orange iguana? He's just moseying <laughs> on up. This guy does not have to hunt for his food. He knows it. Oh my God. <laughs> He's gonna eat the whole thing. One bite. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. I want to eat so bad. I mean, this, it looks like this person just has them just roaming around their home. So clearly he has space. Yeah, that's uh, my old, when I was a little kid, my babysitter, he had an iguana that would run around the house. Gummy. Hey. No. Go. He <laughs> <laughs> just, <you> just ejected. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. You pick one. Which one do you want to do? Alligators. Okay. <laughs> that's a wreath. I don't know what you did. Okay, try again. It's a different alligator now. Is it? What in the world is she doing? She's laying eggs. This is way out of season and the nest is behind her. She's on the turf. So she's not gonna be able to dig a hole for those eggs, which means we have to go in and get them out. Once we were sure that she was done laying the eggs, we went into the enclosure. You can see how we just used the sticks to kind of keep all the gators and other caiman at bay. And she is actually kind of the least of our concern right now. We're more worried about the other gators getting too close or the other caimans getting too close or potentially smushing the eggs. But the reason she's not really a concern is a lot of reptiles will go almost into a trance-like state while they are laying their eggs. So she is still very much in that state. She's not paying a whole lot of attention to what's going on. And you can kind of see what I mean here where she hasn't even noticed we've taken the eggs yet. She's still digging through the turf trying to bury them. Like I said, these eggs are later in the season than we're used to, but we'll still incubate 
bait them just to see what happens. That's crazy though. Yeah, it is. She's like, I'm just gonna do it here. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, upsetting content. Do I want to watch a snake rescue? I'm gonna cheat and take a peek first. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it's fine. Let's just try. This week, we were called about a situation in which an owner had lost access to their snakes. We went today to identify we the species, but decided to take them with us immediately when we discovered they had been without food, water, or heat for a month. Please do not say anything negative about the owners in the comments. This situation was out of their control. All of the animals were in sizable cages and we could tell thought had been put into their care. I think the biggest thing would be the heat and the water though. Yeah. Maybe it was like a situation where like, maybe it was like a breakup or something and they couldn't get into their oh, house to take care yeah. of their animal. That was maybe the guy evicted. A reticulated mm. python. He also appears to be active, alert, and in decent condition. This is a juvenile boa constrictor and he is absolutely covered in mites. We've seen a lot of mite cases, but we've never seen this many mites before. You can literally see them crawling all over him. Once we got home, we worked on soaking all three snakes in some water with a little bit of Dawn dish soap. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm surprised the other ones weren't covered too, because it looked like all the tanks were just stacked. Hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. That poor snake. How's Pongo doing? Well, I mean, we're gonna watch that too. Thankfully, Pongo did make it through the night. Oh. And as you can see, the Preventamite worked. There were hundreds of dead mites all over his paper towels this morning. We kept him in a small hospital tank for his first treatment, and we'll be throwing it away tomorrow and upgrading him to a larger enclosure. That's like my worst nightmare though. The mite infestation? Yes, because then we'd have to break everything apart and we'd have to treat, I mean, we would just treat all of them. We would just treat all of them. It'd be terrifying. At that point, we just might as well move the reptile. Yeah. So slowly quarantine them all. Well, it takes him about five seconds to realize there are a ton of doobie roaches and he wants them. So, uh, you know, we're gonna quickly throw in some calcium here. Your dragons get aggressive with their feeding. Yeah, they do. It's the asshole <laughs> leap out of her tank. <laughs> His beard is black. <laughs> like, give them now. I rarely give these to him because uh, I don't have a good enough breeding colony to keep him, you know, up to this. And now he's trying to climb up my leg to get him. Okay, okay, wait, give me a second. Okay, just because this is cute, I'm going to feed him one with my hands. Oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, well, now you got to go run and catch him this time. Oh. Well, that was a little too quick. All right, well, let's get out a few more. All right, well, he can't eat these fast enough. Uh-oh, 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 one's running away. All right, oh, no, 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 no. Here, there you go. All right, he got, he got the other one. Get, no, get this one. Right there, right there. He says, no. Now it's underneath you. I'm assuming he didn't eat it. <laughs> he got what he wanted. He said, I only wanted five today, not six. <laughs> oh, hard nurse. <laughs> I was not I was not, I thought it was going to eat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, that happened. Got bit by a bearded dragon? Check. Mushu thought my nails were a hornworm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, our bearded dragon used to be able to bite the syringe. In half? Yeah. Yeah. When we had a force feeder after yeah. her surgery. Yeah, Ooh. she would just bite the tips off and we'd have to... Make sure she didn't swallow pieces of plastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, please don't do that. When it's breeding season, attack basking light. Look for female. Attack light again. Try to escape. Do some zoomies. Climb things in not supposed to. Look for a female again. Fall off things. By gravity. <laughs> I'm just going crazy. <laughs> That's a really nice tank. Yeah, it is. I like the rock separation. What is that? Microphone from it's ASMR. Oh, is this? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is what ASMR is. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> you can ASMR anything. Yeah. Oh, hello. 
it's me on a different day. So as you're watching this video, for me, I am now about a week later. So I was just editing along in this video and this happened. Not edited, there's no sound. I guess my microphone died at some point and didn't realize so we just kept going and I lost the last hour and 20 minutes of footage that I had for this video. Luckily, we got a good 11, 12 TikToks in there. So if you would like to see more videos like this in the future, just let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure that my microphone is charged next time so that these videos can be a bit longer. But unfortunately, that is all that I have for this week's video. I lost some really good TikToks in there and I'm kind of upset about it, but we are getting ready to leave to go out of state. So we can do this again in the future. Again, if you guys like it, if you guys want it. As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by iHeartGeckos. iHeartGeckos is a super awesome company that we have been working with here on the channel for quite a while. Among many other things that they make, they make conversion kits for aquariums that you may have laying around or that you may have gotten on sale or whatever that turn those aquariums into front opening tanks for your arboreal lizards. I absolutely adore these kits. They are super easy to install. They take a few minutes and a couple days of drying time and they're good to go. They are a fantastically affordable way to get much larger tanks at not even half the price that you would normally pay for them if you were buying an entire front opening brand name tank. Absolutely adore this conversion kit and I love the company. I was buying their stuff before they reached out and wanted to sponsor me. Make sure if you do happen to order one of these kits, you put Els Reptiles in the How Did You Hear About Us box so that way they know that you guys are coming from here. Thank you so much to iHeartGeckos for sponsoring this video. As always, if you have not already, please feel free to follow me on my other socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. This week's Instagram shout out is here and subscriber shout out is here. I guess I'm just going to go back and try to read my lips to see who goes here, but Thank you guys both so much for following me and subscribing and liking a whole bunch of my stuff and being super supportive. You guys are the bee sneeze. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Is that as far over as you can go? <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? Because <laughs> we have to have like a really tight Is this shot. as far as I can go? I'm literally... <laughs> YouTube and on Instagram what you wanted to see in upcoming videos and... <laughs> did you witness let me spit? I did. Okay. I, saw the, I was just going to ignore it. Mm -hmm. But you looked at me. And I was ignoring it too, and then you looked at me. <laughs> okay. Die off, please. Can I like show these TikToks in my video? I should be able to, right? As long as I put like who put them? I think so. Okay. So I asked you guys on the community tab here on YouTube, and all these bloopers are just going to be you. <laughs>